Mertes must be really out of his mind to assign Carmichael to you. Well, you may report your findings to the new head when he arrives. You can't treat a love veteran like Carmichael without some inside information. I have done a great deal of research on emotional problems and love difficulties. Research my eye. I've watched your work for six months. It's brilliant but lifeless. There's no intuition in it. You approach all your problems with an ice pack on your head. Are you making love to me? Well, in a moment. I'm just clearing the ground first. I'm trying to convince you that your lack of human and emotional experience is bad for you as a doctor. And fatal for you as a woman. I've heard that argument from a number of amorous psychiatrists who all wanted to make a better doctor on me. Ah, but I've got a much better argument. I'm terribly fond of you. Why? It's rather like embracing a textbook. Oh, but why do you do it then? Because you're not a textbook. You're a sweet, pulsing, adorable woman underneath. I sense it every time I come near to you. You sense only your own desires and pulsations. I show you mine in no way or assemble them. Stop it. I'm mad about you. I'm afraid I'm boring you. No. Your attitudes are very interesting. I feel exactly like Miss Carmichael. I'd like to throw a book at you. But I won't. May I borrow this? Certainly. Oh, and uh, forgive me for my criticism. I think you'd better stick to books. Oh, and another thing. Pardon me for marching in. But I'm spreading the tidings. My successor will be due any moment. Well, Dr. Murchison, it's been a pleasure working under you. Thank you very much. Coming, Dr. Peterson? Oh, I'm in no mad hurry to welcome Dr. Edwards. It's hard to imagine this place without you, Dr. Murchison. Yes, I sort of go with the fixtures. More than that, you are green manners. It seems unfair. You're very young in the profession. You haven't learned the basic secret of science. The old must make way for the new, particularly when the old is suspected of a touch of senility. Oh, that's ridiculous. I should think the board of directors would realize you're feeling much better. You've been like a new man since your vacation. The board's as fair and all-knowing as a hospital board can be. Well, I agree with you. I'm as able and brilliant as ever. But having crumbled once, I might crumble again. No, oh, you were overworked. A charming diagnosis for a broken-down horse. I shall always remember your cheerfulness today. It's a lesson in how to accept reality, Dr. Murchison. Don't be too taken in by my happy air, Constance. It's the least difficult way of saying goodbye to 20 years. Yes, I, I know. Come in. Your mail, Dr. Peterson, and uh, Mr. Garns. Come in, Mr. Garns. You're not leaving today. I'll see you again. I shall hover around for a while. Like an old mother hen. At least until Dr. Edwards is firmly on the nest. How do you feel today, Mr. Garms? Somewhat better, Doctor. The thing seems a little less troublesome. May I do that for you, Doctor? Oh, thank you. No, no. I, I can do this myself very well. Please sit down. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> 